Brothers and sisters of Celestial Energies, Brother Wisdom. Okay, just want to do a quick video about the Orgone Energy Generator. As you read in these, the, um, the different readings of these, these org beings, they get so much stuff on the internet is crazy. Um, I went and looked up, I said, I looked up, I says, are the orgone generators uh, radioactive? And it says, oh, well, orgone, orgone generators uh, stops radiation. I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, the crystals inside of here are, are radioactive. The copper is radioactive. So, why would this not be radioactive? It's a pyramid. And what do pyramids do? Pyramids emit different levels of radiation. So, I just wanted to, you know, look up there a little um, meaning of what orgone is and you know, just wanted to decipher because um, a lot of us are going to start looking it up. Say, well, what is this? Well, this is a multi-dimensional device. All right. I told you these orgones, do this, this orgone is not new. These org beings try to make it think, make it seem like, oh, this is something new. This is something we invented. No, 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 no. Every, they got everything from us. All right. These are devices. Remember I talked to, we were talking about, it was saying, you know, when we had our vehicles, all right, these are vehicles that literally levitated over, over the, the surface of the planet. And I said, we have orgone. And we would hold our hands over the orgone. And the orgone would link into our minds and our pineal glands. And because this vehicle that we created had a soul, and it would take us to where we wanted to go. Okay? These are very, very, very powerful devices. Very powerful. A lot of energy, a lot of radiation, very high frequency devices. And what makes them high frequency is the crystals and the metals that's in them. All right? I'm using mostly copper. Uh, I got one of them that I have silver in there. I have some um, one that has some. Um, uh, what's that? Oh my goodness. I'm I'm tired. I just came from work, so I can't think. Of, I can't think straight. Um, and I'm being honest. Um, I um, was at my workplace. And um, I was carrying this around with me at work. This one right here. I'm sorry. This one right here. It's got uh, a celestite in it. All right. It's got celestite. And I was carrying it around with me. And um, I got a glimpse of what these things, these devices did. Because these, these are devices. These are literally devices and we would hold them in our hands and with the right thought with the right thought um we could open up dimensional gateways we can open up portals we can open up we can literally we could literally move planets we could shift to the star system. This is how powerful these devices are. And we also use them as weapons to fight against our enemies. Our enemies, you know, we can make them, we can make whatever happen. We want our enemies to turn to stone, turn to dust, turn to sand. But we have them in our hands and in our possessions. And these orc beings and, and other beings who are not in, indigenous to this planet who sought to control us, we use these as weapons. These are pyramidal structures, which they emit a whole lot of energy. This 
one little orgone device. All right, it's power packed. All right, you got crystals and metals just packed up together. Crystals and copper, copper especially, very powerful um, element. This orgone device is about as powerful as an atom bomb when in the hand of the right user. Okay? Understand this. Understand the power that it has. You could take four of these and put them in a, in a, in a neighborhood. Let's say you got a, a five block area and you got brothers and sisters always fighting and feuding with each other. All right? And you strategically put this in four corners in a five block area wherever the affected area is and these four devices will connect with each other all right on the ground and in the air and you will see a complete total difference in the atmosphere all right this is what the pyramids were for because the pyramids kept us in balance so these orc beings need us out of balance. These are some powerful devices, my people. Very, very powerful devices. You know, um, these orc beings say, oh, they're electromagnetic frequency protectors. Well, we don't need EMF protection because we're electromagnetic beings. All right? You know, we're full of electricity, full of magnetism. What do we need EMF protectors for? Are you protecting your, yourself from yourself? That's all the energy that's in the atmosphere is electromagnetic. So, just wanted to talk briefly about the orgone and what it is for us. These pyramidal structures, some of them in the, in the form of mounds, Ooh. some of them are pyramids, some of them are um, full circles, some of them are squares squares but it's what you put into them all right it's what you desire to put into them this is um, emerald this is full of emerald this is emerald yep this is emerald um, and this is Jasper. That's full of Jasper. So I got uh, Celestite, and Jasper, and Emeralds. Very powerful crystals. Very powerful stones. Matched up with copper, which is a very, very powerful element. Very powerful metal. And these devices carry power pack energy. Um, what works with the devices is we spoke in the old Latin, and the old Latin um, language, when we spoke, our insides vibrated. When your insides vibrate right along with your speaking, it causes a vibrational energy throughout the atmosphere. Okay, and old Latin is what we spoke, as well as, like I said, the dragon language, which is a form of old Latin, also. But old Latin is what we spoke. And this is why these Europeans want us to speak English because. They don't, they, English is a dead Latin, I'm sorry, it's a dead language, and the old Latin is a very powerful language. So this is something that we must study and go within ourselves and find, a, find out how to reactivate or rekindle that language that we once had, all right? So when we spoke or we thought in the old Latin, and not the English, but the old Latin, things happen. Like I said, we opened up gateways, we opened up stargate portals, we we could literally um, create vibrational energies 
We use it as weapons to fight against our enemies. We use it as a tool for travel, for for teleportation. I mean, these <laughs> very powerful tools. Very powerful tools. Um, but it's fundamental for us to have in our possession. It really is. You know, I thought about selling some of these. I'm not sure. If I do it, they'll be like $20 each. But I got seven already, and the seven is for a project that I'm working on. But, you know, if anyone is interested, just let me know. You know, I can't give them away for free, though. Um, but something to really, really focus on, my people. Something to focus on. Because we're coming to an age of powerful energy. We got to get ready for this. I'm going to be studying the old Latin. I'm going to, well, I think I'm going to go to bed and put on some old Latin language so that I can, it can rekindle that language back in, in us. Because you listen to a lot of these songs of these orc beings we sing with the choir song and they, they're doing old Latin. And I think that's why I resonate with it. This powerful energy from this boy here. The Orgones. This is where it goes. Alright. This is where it goes. There's very little information on the internet about them. These Orgones say, oh, we don't want them doing through the mail because they're radioactive. Exactly, they are. Power packed. Power pack, very powerful crystals. All right, guys. I catch you a little later. Go, go, you miss the rest. All power to the multi chakra celestial beings. Peace to you all.